Hello everybody, and welcome back to Tibby Goes to Space episode 2. Uh, but this time today, instead, we're playing Heat Signature, which is a game in which, instead of, you know, FDL was all well and good, but at the end of the day, you're controlling this big spaceship with all these different people on it. It gets a bit hectic. Instead, I've decided to scale it back a bit, and we're going to be controlling one person, this guy right here, who I don't remember the name of, you can pick who you want to play as over here. And we're going to be uh, doing some stuff, going around doing some missions in order to gather intel, which is the currency, and just basically have a really good time. So what is there to do? Well, as you can see, there's a shop here, which has got many things in it, but that's we'll worry about that now. If you press space, you pause the game, and you can see all the things, you know. My name is Attila Fury. At Atelier Fury, nice. Personal mission, I don't. Oh, that's what one I have on. That's fine. I have all these stats as well. I haven't done anything yet. It's a completely blank character. And uh, I think we should press E here to get a mission. There we go. It <laughs> took a while, that's fine. So, here you can see all the missions on the left, ranking from easy to audacious and <laughs> mistake. That's because there's lots of people on there, we don't want to do that. Let's try an easy mission to start with. So, this is the galaxy map. You can see this is like the whole galaxy and each of these nodes are stations. And in between them go lots and lots of ships. And you can kind of intercept them and beat people up in various entertaining ways. So, that's what we're going to do. There is a slight issue, which is I don't have any weapons. In fact, I don't have anything. So, this could go badly. Let's return to the pod. This is my pod. I can fly it around, hold and click, fly around. And we've got to fly over there where that arrow is. And if you press F, you speed up six times while we've gone past it. Okay, so, what's going on? There's another ship there. We need going to ignore that. If you right click, you match your speed to the closest ship, which is that. So, good. That's a good way of just kind of slowing down. It's quite intuitive. <sighs> against it a bit. No, oh, no, avoid the light because that means that it triggers alarms if they can see you. Dock in there and we're here. Right. I'm not actually sure what to do. I, mean, I can't do anything. <laughs> Just run at him and hope. No, I've been knocked unconscious. Okay. I will choose a different person after this. But now you see, he's going to throw me out the airlock. If I pause, I can remote control my pod, and I have to try and catch myself before I run out of oxygen, like so. That's interesting. Let's go to this place and get a better person, because this, this guy sucks. Okay, let's get a different person. We can press character select. Yeah, yes, I don't care. Right, so we've got a lot of people that I've already been playing with. We've got um, ah, I haven't played with this person, but they've already got, so you see there, top right, personal mission. That's like the main goal of each character is to do that. But the special trait here is that I've already got all the intel that is necessary to complete the personal mission. So <laughs> I might as well go with this person. Oh, what was the name? Verona Ossard. They have a wrench, which you can use to just like smack people. And an impact concussive grenade launcher. Nice. So let's. If we go to missions, you can see personal mission. Very hard. We have um, we have alarm response. We have a, lots of stuff. This is all bad stuff. I can't explain. It. Let's do an easy mission, and I'll just show you how you're supposed to do this because I did it <laughs> really badly. Let's. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. I think the previous one was actually glitched. That's why it, it, it the file got corrupted for Atelier Fury, which is a shame. But hey ho, is this the same one? It's not. So now, right. Now, if I hold down, you see I've got a circle there. That's the range of this weapon. If I let go while someone's in that range, like I'm aiming at them, I'll just like hit him. For example, if I do this, open the door, bang instantly knocked out 
he's going to see the body, so bang. Knock him out as well. And I've got his key so I can unlock this door. That's good. So I can go chasing after these people. There's two of them. And that little triangle, when it fills up, they'll like shout for the alarm. And it'll like trigger them off. Boom. So I think we've wiped out everyone in here so far. Unless there's people over there. I don't know. Our mission objective is here. Here's a pilot. Let's smack him. If we press E, we can fly the ship. We press T. We just set it straight towards the nearest friendly station. So now we can choose whether to keep stuff. I'm going to keep it. I could also teleport a gun to me. Yes, I'll take one gun. Guns can be useful. Right. So now, if we zoom out, we're heading straight for a friendly station, which is this place. So we can press F from here as well, speed up. And we're back home. Drop the objective off. And we get lots of reward this stuff here intel is basically the currency of the game so we didn't kill anyone so we were bloodless no one saw us there were no alarms and we didn't get injured so that was like ultimate ninja times so let's go for a harder one um oh we can assassinate someone but not actually harm anyone else don't kill or knock out oh that's re that's really tough actually because there's six guards there don't kill or knock out. Interesting. What is this? Is this a liberation mission? Oh, so this is right. So this is like a super hard one, like the hardest possible one you can get. But as you can see, hang on. Oh god. Oh, why? No. Stop. Glitch back guarantee. If I am about to be injured, I'll just get straight sent straight back. Which means there's no risk, but I have to be perfect, otherwise it'll get cancelled. Let's start off with a medium one, and then we'll kind of work our way up to like the hard ones. We'll do medium hard, and then I might try the personal mission or something stupid. Let's go. Um, I should use, before I do that, I should uh, browse a shop. All the shops are here, so you don't need to go to any specific one. I've got 18 intel, which means I can buy a quiet quickfire shotgun, a quickfire shotgun. Quiet. Can I go for a quiet shotgun? You know, nice and... Wrench is concussive. Short blade is lethal, you see. Why is this worth less? Hang on a second. Long blade. Long dash range. Quiet strike. Slow recovery. Oh, this has got a slow recovery. I think... What do I kind of... How do I want to, you know, play? How do I want to do this? Do I want to... Be a stealth boy? Or do I want to just... Yeah. I can sell it for none. I'm not going to do that. Send it to stash. Let's buy... I've got 18. Blush or blade. And also buy a quiet shotgun. Okay. Stealth. Stealth, stealth, stealth. What are these, um, grenades? Concussive. So it hits... Okay, as soon as it hits someone. Okay. Or anything, in fact. Let's... got a hijack. I wasn't paying attention to what the actual mission was. Hang on. Hijack the whole ship. Gotcha. No alarm response. Gotcha. Right. So we should be okay. Let's... Okay, so if you click, it becomes the right click, the left click. If you, right, you know, it becomes on the button that you click it with. So we're going to go short blade and shotgun. That is the audible range of the shotgun, which is quite big, actually. It's not very quiet at all, but the real one is like you can hear it everywhere. But, short blade, really short range on the short blade. We're gonna have to send this there. Oh man, it's, oh, it's a really short range. Jeez, that's tough, man. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to shock on those guys, I think. Right. So if I kill this guy, they'll instantly see. So, let's go for, oh, I missed. Oh no! I missed! And they're gonna kill me. Right, let's fast forward it a little bit. Okay. And pod. I'm gonna pass out soon. Because I'm conscious, I think I get a little bit longer. Oh no, I think I was unconscious. I don't know. The point of the matter is, I can go again. And they're all a bit, they're all a bit alert now, so that's, that sucks. They found the bodies. 
No, 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 no. Oh, Jim. Okay, shot him. Okay, I switched because. Okay, the shot is down. We need to get a better thing. Cargo crate. Crash beam. Ooh, bit of tech this is. Turns off any electronic stuff. Really useful. Shields, turrets, super useful. And it's long range as well. Shoot! Oof, just about. God. Oh, this is a bit tense. I need, we need to kill everybody, I think, so. Yeah. Uh, you press space, it cancels it, so I can do this. Smack. And then. Good! Secured the ship. Uh, put him down somewhere. Fly the ship. Press D. And we're done. Press F to speed up. away away and we've done it good you see there it said liberation progress kind of an interesting thing as well with this is that there's all <laughs> I don't really get this yet basically as soon as you've done one of the as soon as you complete a liberation right then you get defector missions which basically are like these super hardcore missions that are completely separate to your character and if you do it you get bonus stuff like this unlocks super shotguns so defector 001 should we give it a go that's not nice let's give this a go usually these are like ridiculous i mean look at this what have i got i've got an armor piercing long blade and a self-charging extreme range swap so a swapper teleports me and it's self-charging and it has huge rain which is really good it's, it's really it's really good okay Nice long range long blade. Good, 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 good. Armor piercing as well. That's got a shield which turns on when he's alerted. So if I can stealth kill this guy. Yeah, see? Ah, fine, perfect. Got some keys, got some armor. Right. Uh, there's the ship. Okay, so there we've got a turret. A couple of turrets. God, this place is huge. Okay. He's got his emergency shield on as well, so. Smack. So you see that turret rotates, so it's never in the same place. So now it's look pointing up there. Oh, it's pointing down there now. So, where's the mission? Oh, I've got to steal that. Oh my god. Can't fly the ship from there. So, for example, I can walk behind it. And now I'm stuck in here. First of all, I've got that guy there. Okay, he's gone. But there's also two people there. Could I long range swap with anyone? Is there anyone within range? Not really. Uh, oh, okay, I'm not in that room. Good. Okay, I thought you'd come in here. So, I'm not within range yet. Ah, oh, nearly. If someone goes down there, I can spot with them. I think it's people, isn't it? Yeah, anyone within the radius. That, those two are annoying. Those three are annoying, because... What's this guy got? Glitch dash. He teleports to suspicious sites. Oh, that's... See, you gotta just, you know, this game, it really, you know, lends itself to being chill a bit. I'm waiting for... No, no, no. You just gotta, you know, you gotta relax a bit. These three are gonna swap around coming in here all the time. I'm waiting for one of them to go down or come up. I don't know if they will. I don't think they will. There comes a point where you just have to charge, right? Not now, because he's going to shoot me, but... And these things, like that's like an instant kill as well. Brutal. All right. Oh, there's a turret there as well, so... All right, going. Bang. And I got shot by the thing. Oh, they didn't see me. <gasps> oh, no! Got him. Got that guy. They're going to catch me pretty quickly. Move, please. Okay. I can't unlock it. Oi. I swapped. Okay. I'm going to be captured in like five seconds. I need to... Murderize people. So... I've been... I'm in an enemy base now, so I've been captured. So that's it. That's the end of that. And we're back, and we can play as anyone we want. So, you're the broken one. So you can see, I've done like 2% of his. But he, oh, 
Only 10 minutes to live. That sucks. That's like super hard mode. Uh, Bloodless Vow is quite tough. I've done a bit of that though. And back to Verona Osad. Oh, there's also Rigel Crisis. Ooh. Oh, there's a daily challenge. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. So if we go back to the strategy map, is it still there or did I like fail that permanently? Maybe we can do it again. Oh, can we start? Okay, let's try again. I knew I, I was different this time. Still got my swapper on my long blade though, so we're all good. Oh, that was close with that turret, man. Oh, he's. Oh, that's that. Okay, interesting. Oh, I'm done. I'm gone. How do I go back? Hang on. Um, um, change character. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do one more mission. Let's do like a a, a mistake or something. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Hijack the truth. Forty. Okay. They have a jammer that prevents any of my gadgets from working. They have a defender who's like ridiculously tough. Five bosses, but not that many guards. All the red stuff's really good. Um, to 21 guards, lots of guards. And, oh God, that's a serious guard kit as well. So this is a liberation mission, which is to say, can I try this? Yeah, let's just try this. Take it, you know, a bit at a time. We'll be chill, we'll be chill, we'll be chill, we'll be chill. 32 I've got now. Got the long range crash beam, that's really good. Rechargeable crash beam would be good. It recharges, which is like, you know, it means this thing is good, but it literally can be used three times and that's it. Gonna buy that, I might sell this as well. One, but it's not worth it. Uh, well, it's worth it getting out of my inventory though. Although it was an extra three. Uh, we've got a lot of ammo for the shotguns, that's okay. Um, grenade launcher? No. Oh, let's um, sell that for three. Get the long blade instead, because it's just better. Let's sign that there. We've got... Oh, we're busy. What does this take? I don't know. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right. Let's go do my personal mission. Boom. And away we go. Oh, it's a far away one, this. So I've got to capture someone. This is going to make me... Personal mission's always madness. Look at all those lights. If you... You know... Oh, it's weird shape as well. I hate these ones. Look at it! Look at... Oh, it's explosive. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, right. Guard. Literally just a shield. Literally all shields. Shield. Uh, shield and explosive, so he just explodes when he dies. Good. That's a jammer square. That's annoying. Oh man, that's look how many people there are there, and they've all got shields. Right. I need a okay. We're in. I need a level one key card. I don't have a level one key card. I don't know how to get a level one key card. What is this guy? Oh, he's the jammer. I can kill him. That's good. As in, I can, like, just kill him. Okay. Oh. Uh. Nope. Literally, that's... Okay, well, I mean, he had a... Okay, oh, we're done. That's it. That's the end. Let's... Okay, I think that's probably enough of that. So. Boom. Except, it's fled. Yeah, I'm, I failed. Objective lost. Killed one person. 52 seconds. Basically, that's heat signature. It's quite tough, but it's it's pretty funny as well. So, well, that's it for now. I guess I'll see you all in another video. Bye bye.